Hello brothers and sisters! Today I brought you some Battlefield Hardline gameplay and I will talk about the game and how different it is while you watch the gameplay in the background. The biggest difference that you'll see between Hardline and other Battlefield games is that this one is about cops and criminals, not about military in interventions. Countries fighting one another and whatnot. It's more of an internal conflict. You'll see a lot less explosions compared to Battlefield 4. Now let's talk about the game and its gameplay and how it feels. The only thing that this game shares with the Battlefield series is the engine that the game is based on and some secondary things, like the interface and whatnot. Hardline can't stand for itself, away from Battlefield. Why they put Battlefield next to its name? Probably to have more sales and earn more money, as Battlefield is more recognized. What this game is missing from the Battlefield series is the very core of it. Military interventions, military fighting, there are no battlefields out there that do not include military battles. The campaign is extremely disappointing for hardcore Battlefield fans who look for extreme actions, great looking cutscenes and breathtaking moments. No, it's just a campaign and nothing really stands out to make any comments about it. The campaign was okay, it delivered what a $60 game should deliver from the campaign side, but as I said, the effects and whatnot were nothing outstanding. As for the multiplayer, it's just like a smaller Battlefield 4 with smaller maps, soldiers turned into cops and criminals. You'll experience less driving and flying and experience more on foot combats. I was really disappointed with how the maps, they're in jungles and not related to cops and criminal scenarios. I was really looking for more maps within cities, more tight situations, but no, you have to multi multiply half of the maps by zero if you want close actions. Despite all those bad perks that I talked about, the multiplayer is fun, which is the only thing that matters in games nowadays. If you make the best game out there without making it fun to play, then you sir have failed. My final thoughts about Hardline for you, if you have a tight budget and can't afford most games then you shouldn't buy it. The game and premium will cost you $110, which is bullshit, and the game is not worth that much. If you buy most games and money is not a problem, then you should add this game to your collection, as there aren't any really good games out there anymore. The gaming industry is going further down the toilet every year as quantity becomes more dominant than quality. I'm gonna leave you guys with some gameplay and see for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, remember to like, dislike, subscribe and comment and until my next video. Got that one! Make it! Sorry, my bad. Got one pinned down! Suspect I got him!
headed. Yeah. <laughs> 